Hey guys, welcome back to Amateur Hour. Uh, today we're going to be doing something especially amateurish and well outside of my domains. Um, but we're going to store some mercury. So in the process of picking up this machine shop recently, uh, we found a small to medium sized sample of mercury, which for some reason I've decided I want to keep. Uh, I guess by home lab standards, it's probably a pretty large sample of mercury, but that's beside the point. Now, uh, right now it's improperly stored. So uh, I've done a lot of reading and research, hopefully from the right sources, and uh, we're going to take the mercury out of the container that it's in, mechanically filter it, and then put it into its new home right here. Here's what I know about mercury. Uh, it'll give you brain lesions. Um, it amalgamates with certain other metals, um, including wedding bands. So I've taken mine off, and you probably should too, unless you want your wife to murder you in your sleep. So I guess that's two ways that it can kill you right out of the gate. Uh, here's, here's what I've got. Gloves. Um, it's not supposed to hurt you with skin contact, but I don't care. I'm going to wear gloves. These are nitrile. Um, this is, you know, this is the paranoid amateur's guide to mercury storage. So it, prepare for it to be paranoid. So here's our sample of mercury. Um, it is very, very dirty. Um, just, you can tell just by looking at it. And uh, I don't think whoever designed this bottle had mercury storage in mind when, when they were putting that together. Uh, I also have some mercury switches that we're going to extract the mercury from, um, or attempt to very carefully, uh, because this is not really a sustainable solution either, and I don't plan on using any mercury switches anytime soon. In keeping with our paranoia theme, Everything associated with this is going to be disposed of as hazmat. But, you know, we're just going to go ahead and be paranoid because that's the theme of the show today. So before I start handling the mercury, I'm going to go ahead and get my filter ready and my container ready. So here I have a uh, two ounce syringe. And... I'm going to fill it with jumbo cotton balls. Well, not fill it, but place some jumbo cotton balls in it. This will be um, in the in the two mercury storage videos I found online. Um, this was a pretty standard kind of technique. Um, there's some more in-depth videos about how to distill the mercury and do other stuff like that, but. I don't plan on using this in any chemical reactions anytime soon, so I'm just going to go with the mechanical filtering and call it a day. Alright, so we've got our mechanical filter ready. Okay, so I've got a graduated cylinder that I'm going to use to place the first pass of filtration, and then we'll refill from this here and it'll go into my bottle. Now the bottle is a borosilicate glass with a PTFE lined cap. That's what my reading indicated would be the best option here. I've already put a label on it, complete with a hazard diamond, and all the relevant information. Okay, so the plan here is I'm going to take these mercury switches, place them in here, and then double bag them, and then try to breach the glass. All right, so the last thing that I want to have happen is for uh, the bag to get cut by glass and let the mercury spill out. So. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to place the bag in here and I'm going to put wood blocks in and sandwich the relay between them. So we'll seal that and then we'll double bag and now we have two layers and then all right so there we have it we have one switch broken now we'll let gravity do the work get that one out of the way and this is all happening inside of my disposal bag and then we will get this next one staged. Put 
this block up. Seal the bags. We'll check that real quick. Looks good. Number two. That got it. That gravity help us out again. Looks good. And now we just need to get our last one. I know this is really hard to see, but if it was easy to see, then we would not be doing anybody any favors especially the environment. And then there's our third one on deck. Check that, looks good. Our third block into position here. And that one didn't want to give up. So now we have a bag of debris with mercury in the bottom. All right, so to get this mercury out, I'm going to slice open a small hole in the opposite corner of the bag. And then we're going to slowly pour the mercury out onto this paper plate. And basically there's a bunch of places for it to hide in here. And so we're going to slowly go in all directions, in all orientations that we can get, until we get all the mercury out. One last look around here. There may be some more in there, but like I said, uh, all of this is going into hazardous chemical disposal. So any mercury that's left in here will be disposed of properly. Okay, so now that I've got the mercury out onto this plate, and we have to be really careful with this because mercury, it runs. And I mean runs. It, it, once it gets going, it's gone. So we're going to very carefully, and it does not take much, try to kind of coagulate this mercury together. There we go. So now I've got all my mercury collected into one little puddle right here. And I'm going to go ahead and use a small plastic pipette to transfer the mercury into this original container. It is amazing how heavy it is in this container. You can you can really feel it. And that is the last of it. And I don't have any small beadlets running around my plate anymore. So we will carefully fold all this up place it into the waste pile as well. So the next stage is to fill up my mechanical filter with this dirty mercury. Uh, I'm not interested in a mercury spill in the shop here and this is probably the most dangerous part. So I'm going to do this over this garbage can uh, so that if I do spill any I can capture it. Alright so now we'll place this in my graduated cylinder. And now we can mechanically filter it. All right, with that step successful, I'm now going to place the mercury back into the mechanical filter for one more pass, and we will put it into our final vessel.
So now we have our fairly clean mercury in a more appropriate storage container. Um, now that it is all filtered, I would like to get a measurement of it since I'm already going to have to clean this. So it looks like we have uh, 28 and a half milliliters of mercury. All right, so as you can see, we've discarded our filter here. Um, there is a little bit of mercury in there. But like I said, all this is going to hazardous waste disposal, so that's fine. Now, as a final attempt to keep the vapors down, I've got a fresh pipette and I'm going to coat this mercury with a small amount of mineral oil. And there's our mercury. It uh, looks much cleaner now and we've got some mineral oil on top there to try to keep the vapors down. All right, so in a last step here to uh, try and clean up the my graduated cylinder, I've got some uh, sulfur powder. And uh, I don't know how well this is going to work all in all, but the goal here is, is that the sulfur should stick better to the mercury than anything else I've got access to. Okay, so we've uh, got our mercury now fairly safely stored. And uh, we've got our mercury waste bag here, which has now been double bagged. And I poured sulfur on top of it because I don't know what I'm going to do with even this much sulfur. Uh, so now this will go to a chemical storage uh, waste facility. Uh, the real danger with this now is if this borosilicate bottle were to break. Uh, I have one of these on the way that's a plastic chemical storage container that is big enough to hold this inside of it. And so I'll take one of these and pad it with cotton balls and then pour more sulfur on top of it, because why not? And then this will sit inside of that and then the whole thing will go into the hazmat cabinet. So uh, that's the final plan. This is the hard part. So I wanted to put this on video once again, you know, this is not one of my domains. The, the few areas where I am an expert in have nothing to do with this. This is just stuff I read off the internet, and we all know how that goes. So, uh, I'm an idiot, and I did this, so by virtue of that, if you do it, see what I'm saying? So, don't do this. I shouldn't have done this. Nobody should do this, so... Let's just get that out of the way. Anyway, till next time.